Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am doing a very, very quick art journal spread here in my journal. This spread came out so quickly. I was very surprised because as you know, I've been in this weird creative rut and so I, you know, it just, it's surprising that this spread just came together so quickly and I actually really like how it turned out. So I started by putting on some blue paint onto my page, just kind of brushed it onto the page on both corners there. And now I am tearing up a piece of that vintage ephemera page so that it looked nice and ripped on that edge there. And before I glue it down, of course, I have to put some scribbles. Now I normally do my scribbles with a ballpoint pen, a black ballpoint, but I actually found my charcoal pencil that I had since like high school in my stash and so I'm using that because I love like the graphite look of it. So I put down that ballerina silhouette there. It is an acetate piece from a Maggie Holmes collection. I believe it was Gather and I really like that there. So now I'm working on a little cluster on the lower left page there and I really want to balance out the black of the silhouette so I'm using this Felicity Jane label here and I sort of did some scribbles over that paint corner and I put a torn piece of the vintage paper underneath it so that everything is balanced out on that corner. And now I'm looking through my Soul Saying stickers. These are stickers you can find in my shop. And I pulled out a phrase that says, say yes to new adventures. For me, the thing about starting or beginning again or starting again or just starting for the first time is, you know, telling yourself, yes, you can start, you can begin, you can do this. And it's always, you know, you're always saying yes to these new things, these new adventures. And so I took out a piece of vellum and with my Kiritaki brush pen, I wrote out the word yes. And I really loved doing this on the vellum because it adds a, like another texture to the page. And I, I hate writing directly on my spread, especially like in a brush sort of lettering sort of way because I'm not very confident in my lettering or in my script at all. And sometimes when I do it directly on the page, I don't like how it looks. And so I've taken to doing it on a separate piece of paper and fussy cutting them out. But I really, really like how this yes turned out and I love it that it's on vellum because it's a little bit translucent. So I'm just kind of putting it there on the label and I'm layering up the sticker on top of it in a nice sort of way and yeah that is this spread I really hope you enjoyed this process video I loved how this spread came out and thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye